Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Views back at you today with another one. And yes, I am very excited about this beer today. Uh, this is another beer from Trillium. I'm kind of just going going through them all, um, trying to drink them close enough together to where I can really get some good notes and do a good compare and contrast series here. So uh, this is the Vicinity Double IPA. It clocks in at 8% alcohol by volume. Uh, Trillium Brewing Company is out of Massachusetts. They have two breweries in Massachusetts, one in Boston and one in Canton, Massachusetts. This beer is courtesy of Brandon from Craft Beer Pours and Trish over at Keep Sippin'. Thanks so much, guys, for sending me all these wonderful beers. I will post links to their channels in the description below, so please, if you haven't already, go check them out. Okay, so the other double IPA that I had from Trillium earlier was their Metal double IPA. It was 8.9%. This is just a measly 8%. Um, so a little bit less alcohol than the metal, but still getting up there in the ABV range. Uh, of course, I've never had this before. Can't get anything from Trillium in my area. You can only buy Trillium beers at the breweries, at the locations in Massachusetts. They do not distribute at all, apparently, which is unfortunate because everything I've had from them so far has been freaking incredible. So let's see how this one is. And of course, I've got my Trillium glass that I'm going to pour this beer in. If I can get it open, there we go. All right, here's the pour. Wow, okay. Uh, still a very hazy orange, very bright, much like the last Trillium beer I had. The Stilling Street. This is very similar to the Stilling Street, except it's actually a little bit more hazy. Um, but it's still got that same level of brightness. Super hazy, man. All these Trillium beers have just been really hazy, beautiful New England IPA beers. I mean, just the appearance on there is absolutely incredible. I mean, it's like orange juice with a head. And the head on this is more on the foamy side, less on the creamy side. Actually, it's kind of a cross between a creamy and a foamy head. About a finger's worth. Super bright, super hazy orange appearance. The aroma. Mango, pineapple, the tropical fruit thing that you get with a lot of the New England IPAs. A little bit of like a lemon zest, lemon peel type note. Maybe a touch of guava coming through on the aroma with this one as well. Mm, really complex. A lot of tropical fruit, a lot of citrus, a lot of bready notes in there as well. Slight cereal note. Like Honey Nut Cheerios or Wheat, Wheatio, not Wheaties, um, Whole Grain Cheerios. It smells absolutely delightful, so without further ado, let's get to this brew. Cheers, guys. Whoa. Pineapple, mango, guava. Whole grain Cheerios, nice bready notes in the middle of the sip. A little bit of that lemon zest is coming through to kind of brighten it up a little bit. There's something I can't quite place with this in the middle. Maybe it's like grapefruit peel or like like the the most bitter part of the grapefruit like uh when you skin a grapefruit or you peel it that white part that's in between the peel and the actual pulp of the fruit like that a little bit of that not a super bitter beer though but there's a little bit of that grapefruit it's not rind it's not peel it's the skin maybe I, I don't know the skin of the actual fruit itself it's a 
unique New England IPA for sure. A lot different than the other ones that I've had. A lot different than the metal. I think I prefer the metal to this, although this one is still excellent. It's just got a unique taste profile that I'm having a little bit of difficulty describing, but doing the best I can here, folks. A little bit lighter body than the metal. A little heavier body, obviously, than the Stilling Street because it's 8% versus 7.2. Not as vibrant as the Stilling Street. Of the three trillion beers that I've had, this is actually the heaviest bodied of the three. The mouthfeel with this is full. There's a little bit more bitterness on the finish than with the other two as well. Not a bad thing, but it's it's definitely got a little bit more bitterness on the finish. Kind of that grapefruit skin type thing. Of course, the tropical fruits are shining. The, the mango, the pineapple, that guava, um, the whole grain Cheerio cereal note in the middle of the sip is really pleasant as well. Thick mouthfeel with this. Very thick, full-bodied beer. Uh, so on the heavy side, the carbonation is medium. The body is heavy with this. Uh, so this is definitely a good sipper. It's very complex, and my descriptors are probably not doing this beer justice. There's a lot going on with this. Uh, a little bit more bitter than the other two, like I said, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but for my personal tasting preferences, I'd rather have a little bit more sweet and fruity and less of that bitter on the finish, but it's definitely still a very well-rounded, balanced beer. Um, just a lot heavier body than the other two. Mm. Really enjoyable beer. It's a solid A. I'm going to go with a 95 out of 100 for this one. It is a solid A New England IPA. If you can get Trillium beers in your area, I definitely recommend that you do so. Look at the nice splotchy lacing, the beautiful juicy New England appearance there with this IPA. Another super fresh sample as well. All of the beers that I've gotten uh, from Brandon and Trish have been within a month, all of these New England style IPAs. So we're looking three to four weeks old, so super fresh, which is how you want to drink your IPAs. Obviously, you don't want to age a New England IPA because there's a ton of hop character that you get with these beers, and it would just be lost if you aged it for more than a month or two. So 95 out of 100, a solid A. Thanks again to Brandon and Trish. Uh, their links will be in the description below, as well as Brandon's channel whoop, right there and Trish right there. Definitely go check them out. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.